God is sovereign. People will say it. People will say, well, you know, God let it happen. Wait, hold on a second. You need to hear me as we close this out. There are things that happen in this world that are not God's will. Remember that. Why would Jesus teach us to pray? Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's why there are commandments. Don't murder. I mean, do you think that any babies are being murdered in heaven by abortion? No. It's not God's will. In fact, in the book of Ezekiel, God rebukes them about child killing and he says, you have done something so wicked, so evil that it never entered my mind. A thing that I did not command, neither did it enter my mind. Killing their babies, offering their babies to Moloch, the god Moloch. And the reason I'm saying this as we close the program is because there are some good Christian people who've been twisted in their thinking regarding the sovereignty of God. The sovereignty of God is involves, he, first of all, he gave us free will. Second of all, the ultimate sovereignty of God will be shown on the day of judgment when he drags everyone before his throne. Okay? Everyone is going to appear before the throne of God. Everyone is going to give an account. They won't be able to say, I didn't believe in him. I, I, I. No, that's where the sovereignty of God is shown. So in the meantime, yes, God, for whatever reasons, lets evil things happen, but they're not his will, and we have a duty to fight them. Fight, friends, fight.